Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. In fact, it's a whole new week of Brave Kids Art Club. Are you guys so excited to draw this week? All right, so am I. We have some really fun animals planned, and today's is no exception. Today's is a really fun one. In fact, it is one of the main characters from the movie Madagascar. Ooh, it's King Julian. Do you know which kind of animal King Julian was on Madagascar? Well, that was the biggest hint I could give you. But this specific type of this animal has rings all over its tail. Okay, I'll just tell you now, we're doing a ring-tailed lemur today. These are such amazing animals and I have some really cool facts about them that are really interesting. But we're here to draw, so let's get, make sure we have all of our tools and everything to get ready and let's go. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're gonna need a sharpened pencil with some type of eraser. I have a bunch of them for some reason. <laughs> and then I have a dark marker or a pen that uh, I would recommend for doing the outline. Cause then you can go back and erase all the sketch underneath. We do a lot of sketching and that's where we may get all our mistakes out and make sure it looks right before we do our permanent outline. And then, we get to do some coloring, which is one of my favorite parts. So you don't have to have markers, I do, but you can have crayons or colored pencils or paints or whatever you wanna have and that's just fine. All right, so let's jump straight into our sketch. I have my paper vertical because I wanna put the big tail in there. Did you know that their tail is as long or longer than their body? I didn't know that, but that's a long tail. So we wanna leave room for that big tail. So I might have them kinda of like on all fours right down here. But let's start sketching. Maybe we'll start with kind of uh, their rear end <laughs> so we can get an idea of how, the, how tall the body is going to be because we're going to have their bum up in the air. So let's do maybe a, uh, a circle right about here. We'll do a circle right about there for their hips and their bottom. You'll notice I like to do circles a lot to kind of figure out where those main joints are. And that's uh, this, and then I kind of connect the dots and we kind of form the whole body. But sometimes that just helps me. All right, so now we're gonna do kind of where the end of their, where the head is. So it's gonna be a little bit lower. Let's do this, where it's gonna be over here. Like that, just a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna draw their head overlapping. This thing's in my way. Let's have the head overlapping just a bit. Now the head's not gonna be perfectly circle and, and that's, that's fine. All right, so now let's take this and we're gonna kind of just connect all these going to connect these bits like this. A little curve there, a little curve there. It almost looks like a macaroni noodle. <laughs> kind of looks like a macaroni noodle, but we're getting the body shape in there. Now this isn't the final shape of the body because what we're doing is we're kind of sketching just to see where it, how much room it takes up and where it might be. It might be a little bit high on here, but I think I have enough room still, so I feel like I'm okay. Let's do the tail here. Let's see how high that tail is going to go up. I say we do a really long tail and we have it go up and we go over there. It's about the same length as the body. Maybe you can make it a little bit longer if you like. My favorite part about drawing tails is you can't really go wrong. You can kind of make them in whatever shape that you want. I mean it may not be as realistic if you put it at like a really sharp angle or something like that. But who knows, maybe that's how their tail is. And you can totally do that. There we go. Big, long lemur tail. They use that tail to balance, especially when they go running around in the trees. They're really good at balancing because of that tail. Okay, and so this isn't exactly right right here, but let's put, um, let's put that back leg on there. How about that? Let's do this, let's kind of do, and I'm not gonna necessarily follow that edge of that circle on this part. I'm just gonna kind of go down like this, and then we're gonna kind of go back like that. You got it? And then we can follow the back of this, cause that's where their bottom is, and it's gonna come back over here, and then we're gonna go down to where their foot is. Like that. Now do you kind of see what I'm talking about? It almost looks like a cat. <laughs> right now it looks like we're drawing a cat. We're not, but it does kind of look like that. Okay, remember I don't draw the feet right away because I'm not really sure how tall I want this to be. So I'm gonna leave the feet off and I'll add those after. I kind of want to get all the legs locked in here. So let's draw another line right there. And maybe just simplify and we'll just do another one. Just kind of copying this, but we're gonna do it higher up. Why? Because it's further back, yeah. So it's gonna look a little higher up 
and it's going to be behind that body. So we'll leave that right there. And then we need to add those arms, the front arms. There we go. And then we'll add the other arm. Now I might have to move that head. I'm looking at it, I'm gonna have to move that head. <laughs> it's not exactly where I want it. But good thing we're using a pencil. We can make those mistakes and change them. All right, so I like where that arm's going. We should probably add another one right over here. Let's do that. Like there, a little curve. And then maybe just kinda go down like this. Now, okay, so that that's really is looking like a cat, but I'm gonna erase this head because now I'm looking at it and it's not in the right spot. And I'll show you why. And it's okay to erase things like that. It's okay to make um, some mistakes early on because it's just gonna help us figure out where things are. So I kind of want the head, and it's not gonna be a perfect circle. I'm gonna do kind of more of an oval this time. Think of that as a, we call that a placeholder where it's just there just to show where it's supposed to be, not necessarily what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> That's what we were doing with the head right there. There we go. There we are, that head looks a lot better and it's in the right spot. So what I need to do now though is kind of go back through here and start erasing some of the lines because I got a whole lot of lines. Oh wait, let's figure out where the belly is. All right, so we'll kind of start the belly up here, up a little higher, and we'll have it go down. And then just kind of think of it as going, you can if you want, you can kind of draw lightly through and have that go all the way up there. Now, let's get these erasers out and start erasing all the stuff that we're not needing. This is a leg that, or that's an arm that's in front, so we're gonna need to erase that line. Okay, while I'm erasing a few things, did you know that lemurs only live in Madagascar? I had no clue. I mean, it makes sense now with the movie a whole lot more. <laughs> but I didn't know they only lived there. I thought they lived in other parts of the country as well. But they only live in Madagascar. And there's like a hundred different types of lemurs or species of lemur. But uh, the one we're drawing today, of course, is the ring-tailed lemur because of all the little stripes we're going to draw on the tail. But I thought that was really interesting. All of them live there. That's an island off of the coast of Africa. That'd be a cool place to visit. Looks like they have some really cool wildlife, cool animals and, and plants and stuff there. It'll be a really, really cool place to visit. Okay, now that bottom looks a little bit big. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that in just a little bit. It's got a big booty there. We can, we can bring that in just a little bit. All right, okay, I'm liking how this is looking. Uh, now I think we should maybe put on the feet and we'll do the head last. Uh, we'll do that face last. So they kind of got long feet. They can jump really well and they can climb really well. On their hands too, you'll notice that they have, uh, if you ever look at pictures, you'll see that they have kind of leathery palms. This is the palm of your hand. They're kind of leathery like ours. And, uh, and they also have thumbs, opposable thumbs, so they can grip things really well. Like when they're eating, they kind of sit up and look like a person. But it helps them not only grip things like, in, like food, but it also helps them like, grip things like the tree. So I'm just gonna do a few little little lines there for now. I'll figure out how I wanna do that in just a minute. Because they do have really long, long feet. <laughs> and I'll kind of do more detail here in a second. I just kind of make sure I like the, the placement. Okay, so we're gonna do this little go up and then down so like their little hands is like sitting up like that. And then we'll go under here. There we are. And we can just do a few lines here too. Now you can draw out the actual fingers if you'd like. I'm not sure if my, uh, well, I'm gonna do a little thumb because that's on the inside. So I'll draw just a little thumb right there. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna draw these <laughs> because uh, I can, but I don't know if my permanent marker is gonna be thin enough to get individual fingers and be able to tell what they are. So. I might leave them something like this, but we'll we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> we'll get there. All right, let's work on this face for a little bit. Let's see. They kind of got the mask going too. They kind of got the little things around their eyes, a little bit raccoonish, um, especially with the tail. I didn't even think about that. They are kind of like like little raccoons, except for you can notice that they're on the ground here. They spend more time on the ground than any other type of lemur. They spend a lot of time on the ground. 
All right, so we gotta give our lemur some nice big ears. So let's give our lemur, I, keep, I don't really have a name yet. Although, you know what, actually I do, I do. I'm thinking of, I like, <laughs> King Julian is such a funny character in those movies. I think I'm gonna name this guy Julian. After King Julian. You know what's funny about that is you'll see a lot of times in the movie, you'll see King Julian kind of go like this. He kind of sits back and he puts his hands out. Well, that's something that actual ring-tailed lemurs do. They get up and when they like to sunbathe like that. And they like put the whites of the little bellies out and they hold their hands out and they sunbathe. So that was actually something that they put in the movie, but it's something they actually do. I didn't even know that. It's pretty funny. They like to sunbathe. All right, so I got my ears on there, and I kind of want, let's see, we got the chin. I think I want to make the sides a little fuzzy, so I'm just going to kind of make them wavy, like that. There we go. Kind of wavy, so it looks a little furry. You can do that with the whole body if you want, because they are kind of furry. Um, you can do that on the tail, anywhere else you want. Sometimes I don't, because I'm just, you know, I just decided not to that day, but you can if you'd like to. You're the artist. You do what you feel like you need to do. Alrighty, this is kind of looking like a person in a lemur suit or a cat suit, so we gotta make some adjustments before we're done. But uh, let's do these, these this face here. Let's see, we kind of draw, if you want, if it's easier to draw it this way, it's kind of, you're kind of drawing like an avocado shape. I know I've said that before, but maybe draw like a triangle and then we'll round it off. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll draw kind of a triangle here. And then what you do is you kind of round it off. So round off the corners like this. There we go. And that's going to be where their, their nose is and their mouth. It's dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but we'll put the little upside down triangle right here and you're going to see their nose. Maybe that's the only thing we kind of show. Still, it's looking like a cat. <laughs> I can't get away from looking like a cat. Once we add color, this will probably make a big difference too. So now I'm going to do the little mask on their eyes. Kind of looks like uh, Robin from, from Batman <laughs> or a raccoon. Let's do that. We'll add it kind of like this. Ooh, they look like mean eyes right now. They're kind of like triangles too, just round it off. Now we got to fit the eyeballs in there. Like that. There we are. And we'll make them nice and friendly. We'll have a big pupil looking right at us. You know what? I need to make those come over a little bit more. And this nose and mouth come down a little bit more. There we are. It looks really angry right now. I told you I don't draw mean or angry animals, so we're gonna have to make some adjustments there. But this is looking about right. Woo, looking kind of creepy. Oh, and his feet look like the where the wild things are. If you saw, if you ever read that book, his feet kind of look like that. Okay, can I save this? Can we make this look like a lemur? Yes, we can. Let's do some little stripes on the tails. You don't have to do very. Very, you don't have to draw very hard on this because we can go over it with our marker. We know this is pretty simple stuff is doing the little things on the tail. But I think we're ready to go. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to do one thing. I'm, I think I'm going to go back and just erase these eyes and try the eyes over again. Now that I know where they're at, I can just move them in just a little bit. Maybe make this a little smaller and then make this go up a little bit like that there we go I think they were just too too far apart and again that's okay if you have to make some of those changes so I'm gonna do the eye right there the eye right there have them looking over at us maybe I'll draw little things in the ears we'll do some stuff with that but I think we're in a good shape to get our marker out or our pen. And now we're gonna do some of our outlining. 
All right, well, I kind of drew them a little bit high up on there, but now you can maybe add the, what's in the foreground. <laughs> I don't know. You can add something there. All right, okay, I've decided I want to make the tail fuzzy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go like this the whole way down. I'm going to follow the, the lines that I've already drawn. Oops. And just make them kind of wavy like this. Makes them look a little bit more fuzzy. Because they do have a big fuzzy tail, so I figured I should probably make it look fuzzy. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. There we are. And now we got to do those rings on the tail. Like that. I'm going to do a bunch of, they're kind of thinner rings. Oh, I kind of went over a little bit. That's okay. See, I'm not really following my, my sketch when it comes to the rings all that well. But you don't really need to. They are just there so that you know what you want to do, kind of give you an idea of it. Sometimes they help as a guide, like on the body. Like we did like the circles and things, but here it was just to remind us to put stripes. So it's not a big deal. Now these tails, like I said, they're really good for balancing, but they also, they do a really weird thing. So when they get into fights, sometimes they do called stink fights. And uh, they, they're, they are what they sound like. <laughs> they, they like have their tails and they kind of wipe them on a stinky area like their armpit. And they will kind of rub them in other people's, wave them in other lemurs' faces. It's kind of weird. Which is weirder, I think, is that the fact that they are actually very clean animals. They're actually really clean animals. They like to clean themselves quite a bit. They groom themselves quite a bit. So it's kind of funny that they like to do stink fights too. Okay, we got the big tail in there. It's a really long, looks like a raccoon tail. They have a lot of similarities with raccoons, even their coloring. I just now noticed that. Okay, so let's do this part. I'm gonna kind of round it off right here. Okay, we're gonna do this leg up here. There we are. Now I don't want to make this leg all creepy because they do kind of have some toes on there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go like this and just, yeah, that doesn't look too creepy. You can give them actual toes. You can look up a picture, have your parents help you look a picture of them. And while you're looking that up, make sure to look up a lemur ball. It's a ball of lemurs, a ton of lemurs. They all like to sleep together on top of each other. It's adorable. And you should look it up. <laughs> okay, let's put this little... Oh, you know what? That's what I kind of wanted to do. I'm actually going to make a little slight change here. This arm looks a little too far back, so I'm going to bring it forward a little. There we go. Now, I might have to do a little bit of white out right there, but that's okay. I think it'll work out better like that. There we go. Now, I'll get some white out here in a second, but I think that looks a little bit better. And then I can put the big leg. I might move it forward a little bit. This is called making changes on the go. <laughs> I tend to do it a lot because I make mistakes as I'm drawing and then I need to fix them. All right, so we got that there. The little fingers. They got that opposable thumb. That's what we have. That's what makes it so we can grip things really well. They're lucky they got some too. And then we're gonna bring this down here. And then we got to do the rest of their head. You know what first I'm going to do is I'm going to erase a little bit of this. So I can get a better idea. And then I might just cover that now so it has a little bit of time to dry. There we are. Okay. Not the end of the world. All right, let's keep going. Let's make sure we get the rest of the head here. 
Oh boy, I'm kind of scared of these eyeballs and the mouth. But let's try to let's try to do it here. Here we go. We're gonna get that little mouth on here. I'm gonna try to leave that little triangle open so that I can color it in maybe with something dark. It would normally, that's all black there, but I kind of want to be able to see the, the nose and it's hard to do that with markers. So I got to think of a way around that. Okay. There we are. And I got to draw the eyeball inside there. Ooh. Ooh, that little eyeball is hard to draw. <laughs> okay, got the big pupil in there. And you kind of make them, I kind of like to make them slightly cross-eyed. Slightly cross-eyed. It makes them look cuter for some reason. It makes my animals look a little cuter. So I'm going to start really big on the eyeball and then make it a little bit smaller because it's easier, well, I mean, way easier <laughs> to take away than to add space there. So I'm gonna get that big eyeball in there. There we go. Now King Julian is staring straight at us. I kinda wanna give him a little crown, but I'm not. I'm not gonna give him a little crown. You can, I want to give him a really cool crown there. <laughs> Okay, this is looking less like a person in a in a lemur suit. I'm liking that. Sometimes I'll be drawing and it just doesn't quite look right. And maybe it's how I'm drawing it or sometimes it's just the colors. I haven't added all the colors yet. And once I do all the coloring, it really comes together. So I'm thinking that's what's gonna happen in this one because there's, they have very specific markings and you kind of have to have those for it to look like a ring-tailed lemur. So we'll do the chin. There we are. Got the chin on there. Maybe we'll do a little bit of black in the ears like that. There we are. All right, well, I think I'm finished with my lemur. If I get really crazy, I might keep adding adding some more stuff. <laughs> but uh, I should probably stop while I'm ahead here. Maybe I'll add like a few little, little lines there to indicate that there's fur on their body. You can do that by making little fuzzy edges. You can do like these little lines if you want every so often. You don't have to fill the whole body. We get the idea. But you can put a few on there just so people know that this is a furry creature. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is go erase all of my under sketch, and then I'm gonna get my markers out and just make this look just like a lemur. <laughs> That's my goal, make this look like a lemur. So have fun with your coloring, we'll catch up right after. There we go. King Julian is finished. Oh my, okay, see the coloring really helped, didn't it? Colors and maybe adding a few little textures for the fur, but now it really looks like a ring-tailed lemur. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. You never know sometimes when you're drawing, you kind of have to just finish a project and see where it goes. Sometimes you might have to start over, but that's totally fine. That's okay, that's part of the process. We just learn and, and we keep exploring and playing and uh, that's the cool part about being an artist, so. Good job for drawing today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are proud of your lemur. I know I am. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sign my name. Make sure everybody knows that King Julian is my drawing. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you guys so much. I'm glad we get to do this three times a week now. So it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we get to do these videos. So if they're feeling a little bit left out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 
no worries. We have like almost 80 episodes for you to go through and so many different types of animals to draw so you're never bored and you always have something to do. But thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. This is so much fun. Subscribe to the channel, please. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop it a like. That helps me keep doing these. And uh, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.